It's great to be back. Uh, I'm not going to talk about the game yet, <laughs> but it's good to be back to be honest. Uh, that's what I love uh, doing and uh, that's my hobby. That's the way uh, I get involved with football to be honest. Uh, I have a ship uh, working on the railway, I have a ship work to do and there's not much time for me to go and play football. So this is the only way I can interact with football, trying to help people here to play a match on the, on this grass. But uh, I don't know. It depends on the players and referees, uh, on the managers as well, what they want from referee. This is I can give. This is this is how I am. Maybe we do mistakes. We are referees. We are human. At the end of the day, we do mistakes. We have bad games. We have very good games, but they need to pay respect to get respect back as well. Since the incident, like, have you like been consoled or anything like that, or, or spoke to anyone, or is it just been business as usual? Just get no, I've uh, I've spoken to basically. I had lots of support from the FA. Uh, not too much support from my county, to be honest. Uh, I haven't said that on camera yet, but I'm saying that there was not enough support from my county. Uh, no one has called me to ask me how I am. There are just a couple of emails, and that's it. And they think they have done their job, but they haven't. If you can't uh, call one person having a chat 30 seconds, which give you quite confidence, then I would say, you should resign and go, go and sit home. Uh, I've come out uh, because of ref support. I don't know if you're not aware about them. And Martin Cassidy, he's been uh, behind me since first sec uh, since the first second I've told him about the incident. And he still is uh, calling me and uh, asking me basically how I am and everything. But yeah, as I said, this is the only support I had. Uh, no one else. Police hasn't dealt with this nicely. Uh, they have decided to just simple caution the suspect. But that's it, end of the story. We can't do anything, so that's when I leave that to my side. Do you feel like there needs to be more done to, to help protect the referees in that respect? Because obviously you've experienced it. Yes, they need to be. Uh, they need, um, in this level, I think they have body cams in America. What can they bring here? Well, I don't think. Uh, it's a massive money. Look at the FA. Uh, look at the sorry Premiership. They got lots of money. Players get paid millions and millions. Uh, do they deserve to get that much million uh, paid? Can they help a grassroots football to improve? Can they help other referees uh, get done better? Get nice games here on the pitch. Get more protection and feel safe. But no one, as you can see, no one bothers. Uh, everyone is for himself. They don't care what's happening. Uh, down on, on their levels so that's it we can't do anything that's what they want but it, it starts from the top anyway it starts all the way from top and comes to us but that, that's how they're gonna do how they go cameras they go thousand cameras on one page every uh, everything is being observed but over here nothing we don't have nothing we have no protection uh, you saw today the match uh, manager shouting uh, players shouting you speak to them they're not ready to listen. You can uh, book some players. Then you're gonna have uh, in the half time coming and asking you questions. They distract you all the time. So yeah, they can't. Let, they, they won't let you do your job. 